Welcome back to Theme Park Wizard, and I'm back making a regular video after a few days off um, no. due to COVID, but I'm still in my quarantine period, but I feel basically normal, so that is awesome. So I figured let's go ahead and do another video saying Walt Disney World announced their new annual pass order program that is coming starting September 8th. That's next week. You can buy... Um, Choose from four unique passes, and um, yeah, it's just like Disneyland's. And oh, there's uh, a couple of key differences. The real the only similarity, or well, one of the similarities of Disneyland's Magic Key program and Disney World's annual pass holder program is um, there are four unique passes. Disneyland's also is four, and some of them have the same pricing. The names are very different, though. And some might say the names are a little bit silly. I like that they tried, you know, they at least tried to liven up the names a bit, make some Disney branding. Like the Disney Pixie Dust, Pixie Dust Pass, which is, you know, for $3.99 plus tax, which is basically like our SoCal Select Pass. This one's for Florida residents only, and they can hold up three park reservations per time. Which has another difference, because... Between, like, ours, I think, for the Magic Key, which is what this is equivalent to, you can um, hold up to two reservations <clears throat> per time or per month or something. And uh, the down payments for the for the monthly pass program, or for the monthly payment program, different as well. They're higher here in Florida, 205 down payment. We're here, things like one... 190 or something so different there as well and uh yeah you can hold three park reservations at a time florida residents only what's also very different is that three out of the four passes are for florida residents only but leaving the Incredi pass which is their top tier pass which is still cheaper than disney disney's top tier pass or magic key is um that one's open to everybody and it's very interesting because there's also no Premier Pass anymore. Now, if you're an existing Premier Pass holder, I'm not sure if that's still applicable or how they're working that out. But you certainly can't buy any new ones. Um, you just have to. You want to get if you want to be a pass holder for a Magic Key holder for Disneyland and Disney World, you would have to either get one of the four passes or actually no. If you're a Florida resident, you can get, yeah, one of the four passes, then you get the top, then, hmm. If you're a Florida resident, you can get one of the one of the passes you want, and if you want to pass to Disneyland, you can get any other pass besides the Magic Key. But if you're a California resident, you're, you have to get the Incredible Pass, because the rest are just to Florida residents only, which is very interesting. So it's almost cheaper if you're, it's cheaper to get a, um, what should we call it? Uh, be a, a premier or be a pass holder for both resorts if you're a Florida resident because you can have more, you have access to cheaper passes here in California, which is very interesting. But let's move on to the Pirate Pass. Yo ho, yo ho, Pirate's Life for me. This is like our flex pass and what is currently our um, Imagine Key or Enchant Key and 6 to 9 plus tax. You can hold the four reservations per time, Florida residents only, and um, there are block updates. There's the Sorcerer Pass, which is my particular favorite name because Theme Park Wizard, of course. That's eight ninety nine plus tax. That's cheaper than our Believe Key, which is nine forty nine here in California. And same thing, so hold the five reservations at a time with Florida residents, and there's block updates. Um, no block edits for the Incredic Pass, which is thirteen or twelve ninety nine, which is cheaper than our Dream Key, which is thirteen ninety nine. You can hold up to five reservations per time, but ours you can hold up to six reservations per time for our top two passes. So that's a difference there. <laughs> Moving on down. So, oh by the way, all these passes include parking, which is very different from our system, where only the top two pass includes parking. Our Dream Key and the Believe Key. It's 50% off. So here's 
And the parking space for all annual passes, standard theme park parking, which is incredible, and the savings up up to 20% on dining merchandise and more, which is good because, again, here in California, I think you only get the 20% or maybe even tops out at 15% now. I'm with that dream key. And you have access to bonus reservations, and you can customize the pass with different options, including Disney Fun Pass downloads and the water park in, or the water park or in sports option. Um, and let's see. Pass will continue to offer benefits. You know, love the 50th anniversary situation. The throughout the 50th anniversary, there'll probably be like little hmm, pass holder photo ops, maybe a little lounge. Like we have the Alfresco Tasting Terrace, which is the Magic Key Terrace. Um, probably be stuff like that. Now, I wasn't too familiar with the annual pass holder program before, so I'm not sure if it's an upgrade or a downgrade. But anyone who's been who's familiar with Walt Disney World and been a pass holder there and lives in Florida or the East Coast, let me know in the comments below is this an upgrade to you or a downgrade to you? Because I'm very interested in that. For us over here, Disneyland, it's not really a downgrade. Some might think of reservations as down, okay? But you can make same-day reservations, and who really wants more than six at a time? I mean, I never made more than six reservations, or went more than six times a month, or six times a month at all. So, for me, that's totally fine. But some might see that as a downgrade as well, or just the reservation process in general as a downgrade. But for Florida pass holders, um, and anyone on the East Coast, because I know a lot of them, seem to be for Florida residents, so I don't know if that was like that before. I didn't think it was like that before. But is that an upgrade or a downgrade? Let me know in the comments below. Um, let's see, there's a new look for any old pass order program. It'll be uh, September 8th. You can buy them. That's again, eight days from today. Let's see. And let's see, the current pass holders, you have continued loyalty. You can get a little discount, it seems like, um, if you want to renew. And silver, gold, platinum, and platinum plus annual pass holders will be able to hold more reservations at a time, which is cool. Um, and those names are, hmm, those names are certainly worse than the other names. I don't know. I like that they try to jazz up the pass holder names. But yeah, so uh, 50th anniversary starts pretty soon, and it's an 18-month event, and there's a whole bunch of stuff debuting, and we'll get that in another video. But what do you guys think of this new annual pass holder program, particularly people in Florida, as it affects you the most? Let me know in the comments below. Um, subscribe for theme park updates. Like If you like this video, press that thumbs up button, and again... <laughs> I mean, currently still in my bed in my room, so I don't have my office background, but it's just my wall. That should change next week when I'm back in the office and out of my quarantine period. But thanks for bearing with me through this time. I'm so grateful to be feeling pretty normal, pretty okay. Um, and anybody out there who's sick with COVID or or with uh, anybody else, any just any other sickness, I hope you guys feel better and push through it. Um, thank you guys for subscribing. I love all of you. Um, thank you for the support. Have a fantastic day, and I'll see you tomorrow or on Wednesday with another video.